Hey there. Thanks so much for joining me today on this episode of Data Mo BIM. Today, we're going to be talking about schedule properties and how we can make changes to lots of elements within our Revit model. Today, we'll be talking about doors. And of course, within the Revit sample model, we're working with the door schedule. Now here you can see we have just the out of the box Revit advanced sample project in Revit 23. You can see I am in the door schedule here and we have essentially all of our doors scheduled. We have a few different parameters, the door number, which is the mark, the width, the hardware group, which is actually a key schedule talk about in another episode of Random Revit, and some additional frame, fire rating, comments, etc. So we want to make lots of changes to many elements. It'd be based off of a certain criteria, what level they're on, certain properties they have, right? So we look at additional properties of our doors. Maybe we want to bring in, click on height, we can bring in the parameter right there after the height parameter. I will bring in the type and maybe even the family. Now you can see here, we have a lot of different doors. We have curtain wall doors, different types of it's a metric project apparently so lots of different sizes of doors etc double single so maybe based off of whether it is a curtain wall it's going to get a different hardware group so if we look at the sorting and grouping we want to sort by the type and unitemize here. Now, one thing I like to do when I unitemize, which essentially sandwiches a whole bunch of elements into one line item, I like to add a count here so that I can understand how many elements, in this case doors, I'm looking at on one line item. There we go. So you can see there, based off the types, I have 63 based off this size, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So if I come over, you can see, I can start to assign a hardware group. Maybe this one gets one. And if I come back and go back to sorting and grouping here and re-itemize this, you can see all 63 of those elements got updated all of those 915 by 2134 millimeter doors got updated. So if we look at additional parameters, maybe the mark value starts with or begins with A2, we'll turn off the sorting and grouping you can see here, because it's itemized, I'm going to see all of the doors that begin with two in terms of their mark value here. So essentially, if any door has a mark value or a number beginning with or starting with two, I'm going to see it here. So if I come and I go back to sorting and grouping and I unitemize, you can see there are 31 doors. Well, maybe these doors are special with the, the, the door mark that starts with two. So I am going to give them a frame type of F1. Come back in and turn off the filter. Turn off the or turn on the itemize rather. You can see any door that starts with two down here now has the F1 frame. All, I believe it was 31 of those, right? 
So working with the filter, filtering down to the elements that we need, working with the sorting and grouping, and itemizing, unitemizing, and when we do that, looking at count, we can make changes to many elements within our Revit model. I always say, mastering Revit schedules is like mastering Revit. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Datamo BIM. Make sure you like and subscribe and tune into the next video.